Wait, 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 wait. Today we're going to... Huh, where's the sound? Oh, nice. All right, today we're modeling this awesome guy from TDX. This is part one, which covers only the modeling. Everything else will be in the next parts. Don't forget to leave a like, and let's get started. All right, let's start by making the head. Press Shift plus A, then add a cylinder from the mesh menu. Let's add a bevel to the top and bottom faces. Hold Control plus B to bevel and scroll your mouse wheel to increase the number of segments. Then, let's make it smooth. Right-click on the model and select Shade Smooth. Now we're making the mask. Add a cylinder again. Delete more than half of the edges, like on the screen. Then remove the extra vertices that stick out. Add the Solidify modifier. It gives the mask thickness. Set thickness to 0.07. Scale the mask down a bit. Switch to wireframe mode so it's easier to select everything. Press Shift plus Z. Select all top vertices. Now change the Solidify thickness to 0.09. Add a few edge loops using Ctrl plus R. Move the mask slightly away from the head on the x-axis. Apply the modifier, Ctrl plus A. Move the vertices a bit down on Z. Extrude the faces individually, press Alt plus E. Scale slightly on Z, then add a bevel. Join the mask with the head. Add two more edge loops for the eye openings. Do the same steps as shown on the screen. I see people hit walls and they stop there I don't get that mind, man, it sounds scared Good things take time, better prepare Cause anything great takes pain, it's a fair uh, Take it from me, cause I got to this place When no one can tell me to do anything I call my own shots, I call my own place I enjoy my Then delete faces Press X arrow, delete faces Next, bridge edge loops Right click and choose it Add another bevel to improve the look Finally, scale the selected edges on the Y-axis with S, then press Y. Now, add a bevel along the edges, just like on the screen. Trust me, it'll look much better this way. Now add an edge loop by pressing Ctrl plus R. Then make it a bit larger and move it slightly down. Add one more edge loop like in the video and scale it down by pressing S. Now, we need to pull these vertices a bit forward along the x-axis. Next, duplicate the mask we just made and move it down along the z-axis. Select the faces shown on the screen and pull them back along the x-axis, just like in the video. Then, for the vertices I highlighted, bring them closer together. Press S and move the mouse toward the center. From the duplicated mask, delete the top faces as shown. Now we have holes on the sides. To close them, select the edges and press F. Move the bottom head faces a bit back so they don't interfere with the duplicated mask. We're just adjusting everything for a cleaner look like on the screen. Now, let's make the eyes from a circle. To fill the inside, select all edges and press F. Then, extrude them by pressing E and moving along the axis. From those faces, create the spikes as shown on the screen. I'm losing my innocence
finally, I decided to make the eyes look a bit nicer. Now we're going to model the body. Add a cube, scale it down along the x-axis, and add a bevel, like in the video. Make it larger, at least big enough to fit two heads on it. Next, let's add the plates that will hold our turret. Add another cube, scale it down, then add a bevel as shown in the video. Scale it up along the y-axis. Now add one more cube. This one will act as a decoration or armor piece, just like in the video. Yeah. I don't believe in destiny, I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies, they're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy, you gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me, you ain't seen the rest of me. I just me. wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie. Life's tough, try to get by, life's rough Try to do it right, it's not enough Even though you try, you still mess up But I'm still gonna fight for what I love Still gonna die for what I love Still gonna try, I won't give up Still gonna fight until I've won They say I'm way too obsessed And I've got nothing left And I'm not quite there yet But those words they'll regret Cause I've got something left And I'm not giving in I will not let them win I won't stop till the end, no
I've been looking for a way out I'm sick of feeling like I'm way down Stuck in the middle of a large crowd I just gotta fight and climb my way and then break out Adrenaline in my system I just wanna be different I just wanna be winning I've had this fight since the beginning Got a mind with no limits But sometimes I forget it Look at myself in the mirror I just wanna see clearer I could feel a little angst I'm sick of my life I just wanna make a change The world is calling my name I'm a little afraid But I need to be brave Cause when my head is filled with doubt Now we're going to model the turret, which will be placed on the mob's back. Start by adding a cube, scale it down along the x-axis, and add a bevel like in the video. Then, rotate the platform 90 degrees on the y-axis. This makes it easier to model. Next, add another cube, apply a bevel as shown, and make a connection between the turret and the ammo like in the video. Add one more cube, this will be the turret itself. Add a bevel to the top vertices, then pull the bottom vertex down as shown. From these faces, the turret barrel will come out. Add a circle, this will be the barrel. Scale it down and fill the center by pressing F. Then extrude it by pressing E and inset with I. Then extrude again, just like in the video. Finally, add a bevel the same way as before. For faster edge selection, hold ALT and click the edge loop you want to select. Also, let's add one more cube to support the turret. Play the same steps. Add a bevel and scale it as needed. Also, let's add a ring on the left side for decoration. And that's it! Turret is done! Now we need to extrude the lower part of the body. Add two edge loops and extrude them as shown in the video. Next, make the arm from a cube. For detail, add a bracelet on top using two edge loops. Then extrude the arm and shape it into a mace. This will be the mob's weapon to hit in-game enemies, not real people. Add spikes to the mace to make it look more dangerous on impact. Finally, make the second arm. It's simpler than the first, so don't overthink it. Now let's make some simple legs, but add armor at the bottom, so that not even a mine or a hit could knock our mob down. Thanks to everyone who watched till the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my Telegram channel. The link is in the description. This was part one, where we did the modeling. Part two is coming soon. We'll be adding materials and textures.